welcome to MBS Show, episode number 421. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And in today's episode, we have some content for you.、Uh, mostly pony life and my impressions on it. And one new toy company that is making toys for MLP. So that's going to be cool. So let's not delay that and let's hop right into it. So, first news is Lauren Faust clarifies her. Pony Life comment. Yes.、Uh, as a recap, if you did hear the news or if you forgot,、uh, Lauren made a comment on how surprised she was at the script of Pony Life when it came to her as a, an audition part.、Uh, I think what her comment was not judging, just surprised.、Uh, it was a comment in the script where Uh, a pony pulled out a tablet to call, not to, not to call, to FaceTime with her friends. So that part there was surprising to her. And we did this whole thing about, oh, technology, those kind of technology may exist in the world, blah, 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 blah. But this is her tweet to clarify her point of view or what she said. So anyway,、um, Lauren said, Some clarification regarding yesterday's post. I said, not judging, just surprised. As in, I didn't expect it. Therefore, it surprised me. I haven't seen the show, so how can I form an opinion? Here's one. The art, sorry, the final art looks genuinely cute. Kudos to the character design. Character design, my bad. And yes. Uh, as we can see here, this is a huge example. The characters themselves are,、uh, they're, they're cute. They, they look cute. The art style is pretty interesting. And, well, it really diverts from the G4 style. As you can see, there's,、uh, now the ponies have hooves. Well, they do have hooves before, but now it's clear, clearer. Uh, Rainbow Dash's mane is、uh, different.、Um, what else can you see? Spike's eyes are more feminine. That's one thing to, that's one way to look at it. Gummy's more expressive. And yeah,、um, from what I can remember here, there, there, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff here that、uh, might rub people the wrong way because we are already、uh, so used to the style that we love. So, this new style here is really jarring for us who have been with the show since the very beginning. But, like Lauren said,、uh, she's not judging, she's just surprised by the script. And, well, it's one of those cases where we have to catch it, I'm sorry, we have to catch it and、uh, judge it for ourselves. I'm not going to go to that part yet. My opinion will be near the end. So let's move on to the next topic. So, the art director for Pony Life did a short QA on Twitter yesterday. Here are the responses. So, I'm assuming Alex Vetter, Vetter, Vetter,、uh, answered a few,、uh, Q&As on the Twitters, like I mentioned before. And,、uh, here's, here's what she said on the tweet. Uh, on cutie marks. A few people were asking why the cutie marks of the main six have changed. Well, they are smaller and simpler in pony life because their bums are smaller and the cutie mark look, sorry, the cutie mark just looks super odd. So I made the decision to simplify the design. And it's true. If you remember, or if you've seen Rarity, Her cutie mark is supposed to be three diamonds in, in three, three diamonds. Like,、uh, there's no going about it. Like,、um, I'm guessing you already know how Rarity's cutie mark looks. But if in Pony Life, it's similar, the look, <laughs> the shape looks similar to a proper diamond.、Uh, if you're a Sonic fan, it looks similar to a Chaos Emerald. So, That's one of the few,、uh, what you call this,、um, things that they did to make the design work. And 
in terms of simplifying the design, yes, it looks it looks good in terms of simplification. But in terms of how the not say purity, but as how it looks compared to the previous one, it's way off. Anyway, um going on. On favorite pony and art director's difference from Friendship is Magic, right? Uh, someone asks, what's your favorite pony on the show and how the art direction is different from Friendship is Magic? Uh, they say that you shouldn't have your favorite child, but I need to say this. It's rarity. She is killing it in pony life and the whole team is in love. All the voice actress had a blast while voicing the characters and you can see that in animation as well. As for art direction, this style is more flexible and you can get away with a lot. I find it less stressful as you don't have sorry, you don't need to be perfect and you just have more freedom. This series is all about focusing on the animation and we are trying to give the characters more Space to act. Okay. Rarity is especially my favorite. And I love how Applejack is breaking the fourth wall. Y'all did a good job on this despite the negative and harassing y'all about Equestria Girls. Alright, on Applejack. Uh, AJ is hilarious in this season. She is the only one breaking the fourth wall and a bit more aware that they are in the show. All their sorry, all their traits and personalities are a bit different than in G4, and I think it's a nice thing. We can see different side of them. On background style and colors, <clears throat> who came up with the more water-based cliffside setting of Ponyville? I think it's super neat. Team idea or one person going? You know what would be cool. <laughs> uh, I I just find cliffs and super romantic. Um, sorry, I just find cliffs and water super romantic and dramatic. So that's why I pitch it, it, this to Adrian, and he simplify. Sorry, and he simply said, "Yep, he's pretty agreeable guy and a pleasure to work with." Really. Um, let's see. There, there's more. Wow. Uh, this this is a lot. Uh, were they any inspiration for the background? I felt like they remind me of the BGS in the old UPS shorts in the 1950s. UPA? That's oh, right, UPA. UPA, yeah, mainly with some anime nods here and there. I saw a lot of questions about the mute color of the main six in Pony Life. The answer is to this question is also very simple. The color are based of a toy. That's why. In the end, we compensated their mute tones with vibrant backgrounds. Ha, huh, really now? I did not know that. That, that is interesting. Ah. Huh. And you know what? Uh, there's a lot here. I'm, I'm going to let you guys uh, read it on your own, but I want this one. Uh, I really want to know this tiny horsey's name. I think he's just called Little Colt, as far as I remember. I need to check this tomorrow. Hmm. So we will, we will get an answer tomorrow. But yeah, um, there's a lot of changes from G4 to Pony Life, and huh, I mean, some people have negative feedback to give. Some people have positive feedbacks. And I'm here trying to think of a way to express my feelings about this one. Because as for now, there are only two episodes out, so I can't really give my full opinion on it. Okay, let's carry on to the last news. And uh, Sym Symbiote Studio picked up the Pony license for future plushies, pins, and shirts for My Little Pony. 
So I'm just going to read what Sophisto mentioned here. A company called Symbiote Studios has apparently signed a multi-year deal with Hasbro to produce a bunch of pony dedicated, sorry, a uh, uh, bunch of products dedicated to a couple of their major brands, including My Little Pony. Uh, I've popped a few of their previous license creations below for a comparison on what we can possibly expect. Some of these plushies have some pretty great detailing, so it might be our new 4DE forward if they are willing to dig into some of the cooler pony designs on which is around 20 to $30 dollars. And it can be found on their catalog here. And yeah, they, they look cool. Yeah, they, they look cool. Like their plushie looks okay. Uh, their Shovel Knight, yeah, awesome. Uh, let's see what their shop has to offer. Somebody Studios. Oh my, it's so bright. Okay, so okay, there's Overcooked. There's, yeah, okay. Mmm. Cat Hero, they do a lot of G.I. Joe's. Ah, okay, so we have some licensed products here. So let's see what G.I. Joe has to offer. Um, ah, that's pretty cool. That's not bad. Looks nice, looks nice. Overcook, Rivals of Eater, and Shovel Knight. And so on. So yeah, uh, their thing is pretty awesome. And we'll just have to wait and see how they do stuff. Because if they really pick up on My Little Pony and if their quality is what we see with most of their products, we might have the new, uh, like Sophisto said, uh, Fourth Dimension Entertainment plush. I have one here. Um, Twilight looks really awesome. And... It's been a while since 4DE did any, so I do hope that if Symbiote Studios picks up the, or wants to do the plush, I hope it'll be affordable and easily available for people outside of the US. Anyway, uh, that's the news for this week, and let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing for my week? So, uh, what I've been doing in my week is two parts. I've been playing a lot of Magic the Gathering and that is because the new set came out and I really like the set. It was really fun. Cracking the box was awesome. Got a few good cards and yeah, um, it was, it was cool. It was cool. Now, um, like I mentioned before, I watched Pony Life, all two of them and Mm. Um, as a what would I usually say um, first impressions it's jarring I know the characters I seen them for years I've even seen fan art of them but when I saw the pony life characters they were way off like like they they were chibi in style, but the thing is, um, okay, um, take this for example. It's a licensed Hasbro product. It's a key keychain, key hook, key charm. I don't know. And this is something similar. This is a small spike plush. So when I see this. To me, this is... Okay, this is how accurate Spike is. This is how he's supposed to look like. Yes. Um, barring the quality of the design, that's another story. And then you get this. He's so different. He's so chibi. But the thing is, I can accept this, but with Pony Life, I find it difficult to accept the design i'm not saying that i hate it but it's just one of those things where i gotten used to one style 
and moving forward to another style is difficult, including the fact that it's official. Because, like I mentioned before, there's fan arts of the characters. They're done in different ways. So I should be used to this by now, but somehow I'm not. But that's besides the point. Um, as for the animation quality, it's pretty good. Like, like I mentioned before, the art director said that they have a more, I'm sorry, they have more freedom with how they can animate the characters. The characters are more flexible in terms of what they can do. And as for the voice acting, it's pretty cool. Uh, especially EJ, like, um, if you were to ask me what's my favorite character for Pony Life, I would have to say that it's AJ because AJ says is just there. Like she knows she's in this world and she's asking stuff about why are we doing this here? I mean, why? Like she, she's really interesting. As for Fluttershy, she, mm, I don't know. Like Fluttershy, she's different yet the same. I, I'm guessing that she, we don't get much Sorry, um, we don't have much time with her. Like we need to have a little bit more time with her to see what her whole shtick is here. From what I can tell, she is really assertive in protecting her friends. And Rarity, Rarity is cool too. I, I I don't really remember much. Like it's all a blur. But. I can't really give a proper opinion on Pony Life because I just watched two episodes. For me, the um, the proper what should we call this uh, length for a proper opinion is probably three to five episodes. And this week there's going to be another two episodes, so we'll just wait and see. Uh, I, in terms of lessons like how the show previous show or G4 does it like there's a problem and here is how they solve it and here's the lesson of the week and as time goes on that doesn't seem like the point they're, they're, they're doing but it's there it's there for this one it's similar yet it's very loose with how they do it. Um, for now, there's two episodes, and the two episodes follow the same path. Uh, there's a problem. Pony try to solve problem in uh, their own way or in their special way, and in the end, Pony discovers that I have to do this on my own, or I have to stick with my own guts, or uh, I. I understand my friend meant well and stuff. I mean, those are kind of normal. Yet, I don't know. It's pretty interesting. Like, I need to look into it more. And I feel like there's potential in there. And I just have to wait and hear what Silver and Terra have to say about it. Maybe in this week's recording, we'll, we'll talk about it a bit in the, uh, Patron exclusive part of the show. Uh, if you want to hear that one and hear what we say, that will be on patreon.com slash MBS show. So anyway, um, uh, I, just to put this in a nice envelope, I say that give Pony Life a chance. Give it probably five episodes. See what you have to just see and form an opinion and go into it with an open mind. Go to it with the f with a clear mind, uh, with no preconceived opinions or judgments. Just go in clean and go out with it with a proper and with a proper opinion. With that that you can form from for you <laughs> without any outside influence. Uh, anyway, uh, let's wrap things up. So anyway, um. Uh, let's see. Oh, boys. Hmm. Anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmcgmail.com. 
you can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You can also catch us on. Uh, sorry, you can also. Hmm, I am way off with this one. Uh, and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there you catch me, Silver Quill and Totera reviewing the Pony episodes, comics and specials. Sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies. And those are cartoons, animes, comic books, movies, and games. Did I mention games? Yes, we do games too. We, we like to talk about stuff like that. So anyway, uh, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get weeks early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Tristan, and also Master of Life. So much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya! See ya!